Look here guys, I'm running Android 16 on my Windows 11 PC. I can install apps, play games, and use it just like a tablet. Let me show you how you can do the same thing. First, we need to make sure virtualization is enabled on your PC. To check this, right click on the taskbar and open the task manager. Go to the performance tab and under CPU, look at the bottom right, you'll see virtualization. If it says enabled, you're good to go. If it's disabled, you need to enable it from the BIOS. Now open a browser and let's search for Android Studio. Click on the official website, download Android Studio and App Tools. Click on download Android Studio. Scroll down and agree to the terms and hit the download again. The file is about 1.3 gigabyte, so it may take some time. Once the download is finished, open where you downloaded it and let's click on the installer. Click next. Choose your installation location if you want and then click on install. And just wait for the installation to complete. If you see a pop-up asking to send usage data, you can either click send or don't send. And now you should see the Android setup wizard. Click on next, choose standard setup and click next again. Accept the license agreement, then continue. And now it will download some required components. This will take few minutes to complete. Once it's done, click on finish, and now you'll see the welcome screen. From here, let's click on more actions, then select the virtual device manager. You might already see a default device like a medium phone, but let's create a new one. Click on the plus icon at the top left. On the left, you can choose phone, tablet, or desktop. Note, Android 16 isn't available for desktop options yet, it only supports up to Android 14. So let's select tablet to be able to select Android 16. On the right, select pixel tablet and click next. In the API level drop down, choose Android 16. Now go to additional settings. Increase the internal storage from 6 gigabyte to at least 20 to 30 gigabyte. For memory, allocate at least 4 GB. Back in the device tab under system image, select Google Play x86 and click on finish. And now back in the device manager, you'll see your Pixel tablet listed. And now click on the play icon and just like that, Android 16 will boot up. Once it loads, you'll see the home screen with the Play Store. Click on it. Sign in with your Google account and you're ready to install apps and games. You can browse the internet, use Google Photos and adjust the Android setting, just like on a real tablet. On the right side, you'll see extra options like rotating the screen, simulating location and controlling camera. Let me know in the comments below how this worked for you and please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. Thank you.